Joe Hopkins here with another beer review. My excuse to drink beer. And today, yeah, PBR, baby. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Look, it's got a blue ribbon right there telling you that it is indeed good. It is Blue Ribbon Beer. It says, this is the original Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. Nature's choicest products provide its prized flavor. Only the finest of hops and grains are used, selected as America's best in 1893. That's right. Back in 1893, this beer was the best we had. Yep. It was established in Milwaukee in 1844. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's it's PBR, baby. What can I say? <laughs> I got the uh, the 16 ounce, right? Yes. What can you say about PBR? You know, it's as American as apple pie, as American as Chevy trucks, as American as Ford. Yes, PBR. Paps Blue Ribbon. Chugged at many a frat party and at many a cookout and picnic. Many a canoe and fishing trip. Ah, it, it tastes, I must say, it tastes like the broken dreams of many a redneck including this one here yeah just the uh, next a little red just a little baby take a look man pbr is the beer that you drink when your wife kicks you out and you have to live in the camper okay that tastes just like uh, the fifth dui that causes you to have to take a month off of work to do county time. Okay? That's right. And, uh, you know, I, I know a guy or two that, yeah, you know who you are. You're watching. I know. I know you're watching. You know. And you're not the only one, all right? Had several coworkers have to take time off from work to do county time because of PBR. Definitely tastes like a DUI. It is, it's established in Milwaukee. It's a Milwaukee beer, and it tastes like Milwaukee, which is, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do you like the way Milwaukee tastes? Come and taste Milwaukee. <laughs> yes, because, you know... It's hard out there, right? It's hard out there, and you need to pick me up, or a pick me down, or a drop me down, or whatever you want to call this. Sixteen ounces of PBR is enough to get you part of the way there. If you drink two of these, one right after the other, then you you probably feel better. Right? Because life is hard. You guys know. You all out there know. You know, you got to go to work. You got to put up with all the crap there. You come home, you just want to forget. Right? This is the forget me drink. You forget. You just, you let it go. Right? Hey, cheers to all you working men. And women. All you working women. PBR, because it's cheap and it's available, and they sell it in the 16-ounce cans per six-pack. You can get a six-pack of 16-ounce cans, and six of those is enough to make the ceiling spin. And isn't that what we really want? Isn't that what we all really, really want?
honestly. Just for the uh, the ceiling to spin a bit and to just forget that you had to do whatever it was you had to do today. Because whatever it was, it sucked, okay? I know it, guys. I've been there. I've done that. Whatever you did today is something you need to forget. And, and PBR for when you need to forget. PBR, it's the beer you drink the night before you lose your pickup truck and don't know where you left it. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm not going to say that pathetic people drink PBR, but pathetic people drink PBR. And high-class people, not so pathetic people, good people, bad people, all people should drink a PBR. Ah, I just drank a PBR. Why? Because life is hard. And sometimes, you know, PBR. So, guys, if you need a break from life, and you need all the pain and woe and anguish to just go away for a little while, because I know I do, right here, that'll do it. It tastes like beer. I mean, that's about all I can say about the taste. It tastes like beer. It's not good. It's not bad. It's beer. And it's Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. This tastes like my teenage years. You know, what can I say? It tastes like a time long ago when things weren't uh, weren't as complicated. That that's what their motto should be. Their commercial should be PBR. It tastes like things aren't as complicated. And speaking is becoming complicated. This isn't my first one today, by the way. So you know, I'm just saying. If you know, I seem a little like it's because I've been drinking some PBR. Some PBR and other beers. I've, I've got a fridge. I've got like a couple left of this, a couple left of that. I had one PBR left. So that's the PBR. I've already drank a bunch of other stuff. But hey, man. Paps Blue Ribbon Beer. It's a classic. A classic. All right, look. This is the beer your father drank, right? This is the beer your grandfather drank. Chances are... His grandfather drank it, all right? Depending on how old you bastards are. I see you millennials out there and whatever the younger generation is. I don't know. What, what are they calling you guys that are like in your teens and 20s now, you know? I don't know. Generation what the fuck, you know? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, hey, I like PBR. You should like PBR. Give it a try, especially if you're anywhere near Milwaukee because that's where it's from. Right? Hometown pride, baby. If you're from Milwaukee, you gotta drink a Milwaukee beer. <sighs> uh, you bastards, though, you got a lot of good beers out there. You got a lot of beers in Milwaukee, right? Ah, that's right. Crush the, you crush the can when you're done. Why? Because we're men. <clears throat> manly. <clears throat> can crushing. Manly. Like, it's hard to crush a can. Anyway. <laughs> Look, guys. Drink responsibly, but as long as you're responsible, drink, <laughs> I guess. Isn't that how it works, you know? Anyway, uh, hey, I'm not going anywhere tonight, so, you know, no DUI for me. I love you guys. Peace out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.